Holding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com and welcome to this week's Fun Friday project. Today is the sixth episode of my 2016 Halloween countdown series and I have a little haunted house from the Home Sweet Home bundle. I'm not going to do the exact same design as this because I found it too labour intensive. So I'm going to do a simplified version. This is the Sweet Home Photopolymer stamp set bundled with the Home Sweet Home Thinlet dies. Hardwood background stamp. Halloween night enamel dots. The cardstock you need is basic black, basic grey, smoky slate, whisper white and some vellum cardstock. I'm using Memento Black ink and the pumpkin pie marker which you can get as a pair from the new autumn winter catalogue. One inch circle punch and a magnetic platform and your big shot. A sponge dauber and your simply scoring tool. First thing is to cut your house so you need the base cut, uh, magnetic platform, base cutting plate, your cardstock, and the die. And if you put it along your paper with this straight edge parallel to the straight edge on your cardstock, you should be able to get two out of it. I also want to cut out the apertures for the windows and there is a difference between the two frames. The aperture frame is the one with only the single cutting line which is the smaller die and the frame is this bigger die with the double cutting lines, raised edges. That's the frame, this is the outer bit. To save time you can place your dies on the uh, cardstock but in order that they don't shift you will have to secure it with some washi tape. Now this circle one is, is the same principle so that's the aperture which is the smaller one and that is the frame. So I shall pop one there and I know that's going to jump. Then pop your plate on, the top, top cutting plate, and you're ready to run it through the big shot. As you can see, I've cut my two pieces and you've still got loads left over, so you can still cut stuff from these leftover bits. Now I'm going to need a cross section for this window here. So in order to do that, I need the frame with the double cutting edge and I need to cut a couple of extra ones of those. Now I want to save a bit of time <clears throat> doing this bit because in the original design I had one, two, three, four, five, I had cut ten strips of roof tile and I want to cut that down so what I'm going to do is trace round the roof line I'll just use the scissors to cut and I'm cutting it longer than it needs be because I want a bigger tuck for the lid. Then I'll flip it over and pop glue on there. On one of them I'm going to snip that bit off where the line is. Glue to this side as well and retain the flap on one of it bring my scoreboard in and 
score at that very same line. Create these panels. But before I do that, we need to do a bit of stamping. I'm going to stamp the cobweb on there. Now we're ready to do our scoring. And what you want is to use this baseline here where the um, score line for the flap is parallel or flush with the six inch groove of your scoreboard and we're scoring at every quarter of an inch okay and we're doing it from the inside from the reverse side that's the outside you want to do it on the inside um, because you want the score lines to show and you only score up to the score line there orient this side of the house along parallel to that and then you just carry on the score lines here using the previous score line as your guide so six, five and three quarters five and a half five and a quarter every quarter of an inch but we're counting backwards so that's four and three quarter four and a half four and a quarter four three and three quarters three and a half three and a quarter and three then make sure that's parallel and then use from that score line as a guide and score the rest of the way. Next use the sponge dauber and just sponge lightly and then where the raised edges are from your score lines these will pop. Next thing you do is just pop a dollop of glue on these windows and place them on here See, I've cut my frames with the frame dies, and now I'm ready to glue those on as well. Next, take the pumpkin marker and just with the flat of the brush tip end. Just randomly colour the vellum cardstock with pumpkin pie and take your one inch circle punch and punch out four circles. Then use your snail or fast fuse just on the corners. windows remember that you want the colored side face up um, and that's the bit you have here rather than the uncolored side
burnish all your score lines. I've cut a door frame with this die here and I've also cut a door. Now I'm not making this door open so I will need to cut the rest of it by hand so that it's not hinged. I'll cut the hardwood stamp with Memento Black ink. Pop my door on top. Place a small pumpkin pie enamel dot for the doorknob. When you're gluing the door on, bear in mind that you need to glue it on the piece with the large, larger flap for the house. I use this die to cut out the roof tiles which I've already done beforehand but now that I've got this extra piece then I won't need as many roof tiles so I'd say put about three on each side whereas I had five on each side so that's six altogether on second thoughts it might be better to put the roof tiles on last marry those up So that's the front, you want that to fold back, so you fold the back piece first, let's take that off, fold the back piece down on top of that and then just a bit of Tombow on the back flap and use something to Put that down. Okay. So I've put some sticky um, double-sided tape on this side. So let's take that off. And put that side of the roof down first. Keep those flaps on and now this will tuck in. And that's your opening. Now we need to put the roof tiles on. So we don't need as much if you're if you've already covered it up with that. So I think three should do it. Um, so then that becomes less labour intensive. ready to do the other roof line and this one you have to trim from here because obviously that flap does not open last thing to do is stamp my ghost in memento black on the vellum cardstock and also the sentiment. Oops, I've got my scissors caught. Let's see if I can squeeze it from here. This little treat and the banner comes from the same stamp set. I'll be back in a minute at the banner. Now we can pop it on top of the house, over the door, glue dot on the ghosty, and pop him inside. And put the treats in, and there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook. And my grateful thanks if you do. 
If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed here on my blog at blog.stampwithlane.com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.